Hey, my name is Insomniac, and in this video we will have a look at support sets, but from the perspective of a DPS player. There are lots of DPS players who don't know what the sets their tanks and healers are wearing are actually doing for them, and how to get their value and more damage out of them. So let's have a look at some popular support sets and figure out how to recognize them and what they do so you can get their full benefit next time you spot them in your dungeon or maybe even trial group. First off, let's have a look at sets that buff your damage. Let's start with Olorime. Olorime is a very popular set worn by healers and also tanks alike. But what does it actually do? Olorime gives you Major Courage, a big buff that increases both your weapon and your spell damage by a significant number. But how do you get this big overall buff to your DPS? When the tank or healer procs Olorime, a glowing golden circle will appear on the floor for just a couple of seconds. All you have to do is quickly touch it with your character and you're good to go. No need to stay in it. The effect will stick with you even when you leave the circle. But where should you expect the circle to appear? The support procs Olorime by placing down crown-based abilities. Since Wall of Elements is popular for this, most of the time you will find the circle just behind the boss. Olorime is not the only set capable of giving you the major courage buff. Spell Power Cure does the exact same thing. Usually in this case the healer is wearing it, and you don't need to do anything special to receive the buff. If you want to find out if your healer is using Spell Power Cure, all you have to do is look at your character's forearms when you're getting healed. If they glow purple like this, your healer is using Spell Power Cure. Since Spell Power Cure procs of healing, you won't be able to receive the buff if you use any kind of ability or gear that prevents others from healing you. Of course you also won't get it if heals aren't hitting you, so make sure to stay within your healer's range. With Major Courage out of the way, let's have a look at his little brother, Minor Courage. Minor Courage also increases your weapon and spell damage, but only by half the amount Major Courage does. A popular way of giving this buff to the group is using the tanks at Yolnakrin. All the tank has to do is to taunt and you will receive the buff. This means you don't need to do anything specific. If your arms are glowing orange like this after the tank taunts an enemy, you know you have been buffed by Minor Courage. Another way to receive this buff is the monster set Magma Incarnate. Just like Yolnakrin, the set will make your arms glow orange. However, this will not happen after the tank taunts, but after someone gets healed. A red glowing orb will then bounce between your group members. All you have to do is to be close to your group so the orb can also bounce to you. If you're too far away from the group, it will not bounce to you and you will not get the buff. Additionally to Minor Courage, Magma Incarnate will also increase your armor and make you more tanky for a while. Another popular set is Powerful Assault. Powerful Assault increases your weapon and spell damage by a significant amount. Supports proc its effect by using an ability from the Alliance War Assault skill line. The set can be used on both healers and tanks, and the most popular way of procking it is the skill Vigor. If your tank or healer are using the skill very often, there's a high chance they are buffing you with Powerful Assault. You can make sure by having a look at your weapons. If your support uses an Assault skill and your weapons start glowing orange like this, they are using the set. But how can you make sure to get the full value out of this buff? Powerful Assault has a very low range in which it procs. Make sure you are always close to the support procking it. If you are too far away, you will not receive the buff. This of course doesn't mean you should hug your tank. But if you stay close behind the boss, you should always be close enough to get buffed by it. Let's move on to Spoiler of Ruin. A mythic item that also increases your weapon and spell damage. If you see a giant red ring flat on the floor, surrounding your support and also moving with them, they are wearing Spoiler of Ruin. All you have to do to receive its damage buff is to stay within the circle. Next on the list is Ingratis. Ingratis is a monster set, most of the time worn by the tank. Ingratis also looks like a giant ring moving with your support, but this time it's orange and has a border around the edge. Any enemy within this orange circle takes increased flame damage from you and your group. To get this increased fire damage, you don't need to be inside of the circle, but if you are, you yourself will also take reduced flame damage. Further mentions of support sets that increase damage are Sen and Elemental Catalyst. You yourself don't need to do anything to benefit from these buffs, and you can just play as you normally would. However, you can tell by the visual effects they leave if one or both of these sets are in your group. You can tell the enemy is affected by Sen if they have a green glow and beam coming off them. If you see this effect, the glowing enemy takes increased damage from damage over time effects. You can tell the enemy is affected by elemental catalyst if there is lightning, fire and ice swirling around them in an orb. 
If you see this, the affected enemy takes increased critical damage. If not the full effect of the set is active, one or two of the swirling elements can be missing. In this case, the crit increase is lower. Now with popular damage increasing sets out of the way, let's move on to sets that will help you sustain. Let's start off with Warm, a very popular set to help with Magicka sustain. Warm is a often used set for both tanks and healers. You can easily recognize it in your group if one of your supports has three glowing blue orbs swirling around them at all times. If this is the case, your Magicka recovery will be increased. Other colored orbs than blue belong to less commonly used support sets and increase other resources. Let's move on to Stone Talker. Stone Talker restores stamina and Magicka to you in a burst. You can tell if the set is in your group if the enemy has a very light blue glowing orb on top of its head. After a while the orb will explode and give resources to anyone close to the enemy it was hovering over. To get the resources all you have to do is stay near the enemy with the orb. You can tell it will explode soon when the orb begins to grow. The next sustain set we will have a look at is Holofang. Holofang will put a circular green AoE with a floating red orb in the middle on the floor. After a couple of seconds, the orb will explode and anyone standing inside of the AoE receives Magicka. Additionally to the Magicka, you will also take more healing for a while. You can tell the healing increases on you by the red mist around your character's chest. Just look out for the proc around the area and make sure you are inside the circle when it explodes to receive the buff. Next one on the list is Symphony of Blades, a popular monster set usually worn by healers. Once your main resource drops below 50% and you get healed, Symphony of Blades will proc on you and boost your stamina or Magicka regeneration for a while. Which one gets boosted depends on your primary resource. You can tell the set has procced on you if your entire character starts to glow golden. After getting buffed by it, you cannot get it for another 15 seconds. Then you are good to receive the buff again. All you have to do to have Symphony of Blades proc on you is to get healed by the support wearing it. So make sure to stay within your group's heals. The next category of support sets we will have a look at is sets that increase your ultimate gain. Popular sets for this are Drake's Rush and Arcasis. You can tell your tank is using Drake's Rush if Yellow Glow starts getting sucked into your chest after he bashes the enemy. You can tell if your tank is using Arcasis if you have orange smoke coming out of your torso after the tank uses a potion. If one of those sets is in your group, you will have a lot more ultimate available to you than you usually would. To get value out of these sets, make sure to keep a close eye on your ultimate, as you will be able to use it much more often than what you are used to. The last bunch of support sets we will have a look at are sets that reduce the enemy's armor. If armor reducing sets are in your group, you need less penetration to break through your enemy's armor to do damage, as your supports are helping you out by lowering it. This is especially interesting for stamina DDs, as they usually struggle with penetration. Two examples for armor reducing sets are Alkosh and Crimson Oath. You can tell if your tank is using Alkosh if his weapons and shield have a blue glow with stars coming off of them. Alkosh gets applied after using a synergy, so make sure to not overuse them and leave enough of them for your tank or you and your group won't get the set's benefit. You can tell if your tank is using Crimson Oath if quick flashes of red and blue are coming off of him in a circular pattern from time to time. You don't need to do anything specific to receive the set's buff. Of course there are many more support sets used by groups and many more will be changed and added in the future. But this is to give a short and simple overview of some of the popular options if you are just starting out and want to get as much value as you can out of your group setup. Next time you are in a dungeon or maybe even a trial, watch out for the different effects your character is displaying, so you know what to expect. Maybe your group sustain will be better this time and you will need less heavy attacks. Maybe your ultimate gain will be better and you can use it more often. Or maybe all you have to do is take two steps to the side into a golden circle to increase your DPS.